Welcome back, this is the Amajack. Today we got Gunslinger Desolation Suicide. Dull. Dull. I didn't upload my Minecraft video today. I recorded it all. I've got it all recorded, I just I haven't edited it. Honestly, I just I didn't feel like editing anything today. I was tired, dude. I'll uh, have to edit that one and then also the Serenity SMP one. Probably tonight or tomorrow, probably. More likely, I guess. Um. I don't know. It's just a. Uh, it's, 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 it's a stressful. Stressful situation to be running two Minecraft series. I uh, got a lot of respect for the people who do it out there, like Etho and. You know, Mango. You know, all, all of them people out there who are making regular episodes of, uh, of Minecraft. It's, it's a lot of work. A lot of work goes into it. A lot of work that you don't think about. Um, and it feels like work, too, is the other thing, you know? It's fun, but it feels like work. Like hey, I gotta go play Minecraft, you know. But so I'll get into the swing of things eventually. It's gonna again. It's gonna be an adjustment period. It's gonna be an adjustment period. It'll it'll happen when it happens. Hey, it's not nice. Smash. I love bashing stuff. I don't bash often, but uh, it it is fun to just bash stuff, you know. It is, it is a, a fun experience, for sure. I don't know why, but there's just something satisfying about... Uh, oh, I didn't even know you could do that. There's something satisfying about uh, just smacking and then bashing their head in. Yee, yeah, look at that. There's just uh, there's a certain satisfaction that comes from doing it, you know? <laughs> I don't do it often though, cause uh, you know I can shoot stuff. Why, why bash when you can? You know? Why bother? That's what I always say. Is it a sign of depression? Yeah, perhaps. I suppose. Okay, so you want to do? What is it? Yeah, it's like that. Now we can start dumping them. Yeah, look at that. Now we can start dumping them. I love dumping clips. I don't know why, but there's a certain satisfaction that comes from doing it. Let's get these piles of, uh, I don't know, clips? What are these? Magazines? I don't know, dude. I'm not, I'm not a gun person. I don't know anything about them. I only know what I learned through uh, through Kaling Floor Two. That's all I got. <laughs> Which isn't much. I know the names of some guns and some, you know, some some uh, some bits about uh, kind of how loud they sound. <laughs> That's about it. Um, I, I, you know, if you were to put a gun in front of me, I probably wouldn't be able to reload it. You know. And I'm kind of clueless about that kind of stuff. I also I don't care to. It's the other thing. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a big fan of guns. I know a lot of people like guns. I think it's an okay hobby. You know, I'm not I'm not one to judge a hobby of somebody. Um, you know, but uh, for me they just they don't interest me really. I like it's it's weird because I I don't like guns. It's not like I I you know. I'm against guns necessarily. I am, you know, kind of, but I, I, I think as long as there's regulations on it and stuff, it's it's fine. Um, but uh, you know, like every country except for uh, a few of them, you know. Um, <clears throat> um, I don't think there's anything wrong with guns necessarily, but I just I don't I don't have an interest in them. Um, my uh, an old friend of mine had uh, liked guns. He was uh, he uh, he had a few guns and would go to like the shooting range and and stuff. Uh, he always told me that like I should I should go. <laughs> like ah, I don't know. It just like it just completely doesn't interest me. You know I just really don't see the point. I don't know. But people always say, well, once you shoot a gun, there's there's uh, it's just a feeling of the power. I'm like I just I don't care though. You know, I'll shoot a gun and I'll be like, wow, the gun's very strong. I'm going to put that down and um, not touch it again because, um, 
It's a gun. <laughs> but uh, even one day uh, he, was, he was like looking at at like gun stuff on the uh, on the work computer, and he got in trouble for it because they're like, yeah, um, like you know it's legal and stuff, but uh, let's let's not look at <laughs> ordering guns. From the uh, from the work computer, just it's uh, it's a bad image for the company, you know. Like that's reasonable. That's acceptable. So we started looking at him on, a, on his phone instead. Then he got in trouble for always being on his phone. I mean, we all did, I guess. We all got in trouble for lazing around a lot at that place. But also, there was just nothing to do. You know, it's like uh, you gotta you shouldn't be leaning on the counters. You shouldn't be on your phone so much. I'm like, what else do you want me to do? We get like two customers a day. I'm not gonna go out there with a big sign and be like, come on in! No, that's not part of my job description. Wouldn't even help anyway, they'd be like, wow, you look uh, a little bit weird. I'm gonna avoid that store. <laughs> it, was, it was a relaxing job because of that, but... Now that's bullet time. I ended up quitting. I just got a lot of, like, it was just a lot of... I think I've talked about it before, but it's a lot of, um... You're like, hey, do this thing. I'm like, I don't want to. Like, well, you have to, because that's your job. I'm like, uh, I quit. <laughs> I've, I've had that at a few jobs, honestly. You know, I say do it, and they're, they're like, hey, do this. I'm like, I will never do that. They're like, well, you have to. I'm like, actually, I have another choice. Find somebody else to do it. It's just, uh, I've worked in a lot of retail jobs, and honestly, it's not, it's not a good experience really isn't. Your, your manager, literally, they're pulling you aside to be like, hey, so, uh, that customer, you didn't even try to sell them these things that we don't care about. Or, or that they shouldn't care about. You know, like, literally, I wish it were verbatim, but they, you know, typically gummy it up. You didn't try to sell them the, um, the SD card or the Office 365 subscription. Why didn't they leave with a Norton subscription? I'm like, uh, because it's garbage. I'm not selling Norton to anybody. It's garbage. <laughs> they don't need it. It's not necessary. I'm like, well, we have to sell uh, at least all these attachments on the thing. I'm like, how about instead of that, I just sell them the thing and then tell them to come back for these other bits later when they have uh, a little bit more money and know that they actually need it. Nope, they have to go on the same order. But I don't wanna... Well, you have to. Uh-huh. Okay. See you later, then. It's just like everywhere you go, anywhere anywhere retail you go, it's just... It's a lot of, like, hey, you didn't uh, sell that customer a billion things that they don't care about. And, like, why would I do that? Like, we need to make money! Like, yeah, maybe find, like, a respectable business practice. There's, uh... There's better ways to make money than scamming your customers. So, me and retail, we don't get along, is moral of the story. That's why I like, like, fast food and stuff, honestly. Like, McDonald's, A&W, Tim Hortons, Wendy's, Burger King, Dairy Queen. You, you pick a fast food restaurant. It's probably better. It's, it's probably a better place to work at than somewhere like Walmart, Costco, Best Buy, Future Shop, Staples, you know, like any of these kinds of places. It's, um... You know, Source, Future, Radio Shack, you know, whatever. whatever. You, you, you pick a, a place that is, uh, retail... You know, anywhere, it's, it's 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 worse than working at like McDonald's or something like that. Just because like at McDonald's, they're like, "Hey, uh, we need to sell more fries." I'm like, "All right, uh, hi there. Can I get a Big Mac? Sure. Would you like fries with that? No, thank you. Okay." It's like you don't you're not like pushing anything on them, and everybody that's going to McDonald's is like expecting you to ask if they want fries with it. You know, you're not uh, you're not like. Hi, uh, I just need uh, a mouse. Like, oh, you need a mouse. How about you get this Ethernet cable and SD card? You might need a USB hub as well if, uh, if you want to be able to use that mouse. It takes a little bit of power. You need this powered USB hub. Uh, you're probably going to need this um, you know, extension cable so you can plug it all in. And you know, while you're at it, I mean, you may as well pick up a, a Chromecast. There's no reason not to these days. I mean, it's really the way of the future. It's just like... Garbage, dude. Just garbage. 
last kind of crap that they want you to do, you know? And if you're comfortable with doing that, then it's a fantastic, like, place to be. Genuinely is. Like, the people tend to be pretty, like, nice to get along with, except for the fact that I hate them all because they are okay with that. Um, <laughs> so if you're okay with it, then you get along great. Um, just, uh, you, you, you know, you and me may not in a professional context. Um... And then, uh, you know, it's generally speaking, the pay is okay, at least up here. Um, there's there's uh, a lot of place to move up in that kind of space as well. I know that's kind of like, you know, marketing speak, but genuinely there is. You, you can, if you're really passionate about it, you really get it. You can get a, you know, assistant manager, supervisor of a department or something like that. You know, it's, it's, they're, they're generally pretty decent places to work as long as you're okay with selling your soul. It's a big ask. Personally, I'm not into it, so... I would, uh, I would never go back to retail. Never. And it's not because the customers are bad. You know, a lot of people are like, I'm never going back to retail. The customers just don't respect you. Nah, it's like, I don't feel good about it. And I feel like I'm scamming people. Well, what, what ends up happening is, is I don't scam people, and then my supervisors are like, Hey, we're noticing that you're not scamming people. What's going on? I'm like, oh, well, I have this uh, this thing that I call, like, morals and, and uh, respect for, like, the, the customers that are coming in. They're like, ah, oh, yeah, no, that. Gotta throw that away. My favorite part is, like, is when they play part. Do you believe in uh, in warranties? So I'm not, like, selling warranties on, on most things. Like, Do you believe in warranties? If you were to go somewhere, would you buy a warranty? I'm like, no. Not, not a chance in, in heck that I would do that. <laughs> They're all scams. Um, they're scams by design. You think that they're like... No. You, you think they're offering the warranty because they want you to get free stuff? No. Money. They're offering the warranty because it costs more than it costs to replace the average one that, that, that breaks, you know? Like, like you pay for like a $2 warranty on a $10 project, or on a $10 product. They're expecting that uh, they will sell like five warranties at least to every product that they have to replace, you know? And, and if they're expecting that, why would you not? It's kind of like going to a casino. The odds are never in your favor with a, with a warranty. It's not gambling. It's literally just, like, scamming you. Almost always. Some things are an exception. Some things are an exception, for sure. Um, a lot of warranties are relatively cheap and will cover a uh, replacement. No, like criteria just like you as long as you bring the product back you'll get a new one and it's like three years like chairs are often like this computer chairs office chairs stuff like that um, so in that case you know it's like okay you buy like a three hundred dollar chair you get a ten dollar warranty and uh, three years later your chair is still fine you just take it back and get a new one <laughs> you know like you just you just extended the life of your chair by like three years you might get a new design some more comfortable you know maybe you got some like rips or tears in the seat or something like that like it's just you just get a new chair for like 10 bucks or something right like it's a that's that's a banging deal i say um but uh you know most things are like hey this sd card yeah it's rated for about uh like five years you want a one-year warranty for 10 bucks by the way the sd card is 15 dollars like no it's stupid i'm not, I'm not selling that to anybody the sd card is like like when's the last time you had an sd card fail like really if you're a professional okay you know okay i suppose you know you're in you're in a position where you're actually like filling it up and emptying it constantly normal consumers aren't doing that it just doesn't happen um you don't need a warranty on it it will last you for like ever most of the time when you're putting stuff on an ssd on, on an sd card you're just like Tossing stuff on it, like for like a Nintendo Switch or something, you know? You're just tossing stuff on it and then uh, leaving it. You might be using it for a camera that you take out for vacations or something, but... You don't need a warranty on it. It's stupid to get a warranty on an SD card. It's a terrible idea. Don't do it. And I wouldn't sell them on anybody. You'd be like, hey, do you have a warranty on this? I'd be like... Really? Yes, we do. Would you recommend it? Why are you asking me these questions? Um... Yeah, and it's just like such an uncomfortable feeling. So it's like you can't say no. Would you recommend this product? No. 
uh, why not? Because it's dumb and a scam. They're like, uh, yeah, your company is offering this. Yeah, they're scamming you. Hmm, should I shop here anymore? I don't really think you should. Hmm, how's your how's your manager going to feel about that? What's your job security like at that point, you know? Not very good, I say. Not very good. Yeah, a lot of things just like the warranties just suck. And they'll pull you aside and be like, do you believe in warranties? I'm like, no, <laughs> I don't. There's they're, they're scams by design, almost 100% of the time. You know, like a manufacturer warranty, like you get a, you, you buy a power supply from like Seasonic or something like that. You got like a 10 year warranty on it. Just like it comes with the product. Because they actually believe in their products and they will actually back them. Right, so you get, you, you know, if it breaks to like, you know, something that would it be expected that it would fail to. Um, you know, if you just run over it with a truck, I, I doubt Seasonic's going to replace it for you. I don't I mean, if you have a video of it. And it's like, you know, super dramatic and funny. They probably would because they're kind of cool. But don't, you know, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> like that just comes with a 10-year warranty. Great, you know. But if you're buying like a third-party coverage plan on something, just like, what are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? They're designed to take your money. <laughs> Buy a design. Your, your thing is not, like, it's just, it's not worth it. I guess if you're, like, super bad with your stuff and you break it all the time, I guess, like, okay, you know, the warranty's okay at that point, I suppose. But, you know, at that point, I just gotta kind of say, like, bruh, stop breaking your stuff. It's probably a much better option than just buying warranties on everything. Like, just be careful. I don't break stuff. As long as you're careful, your stuff's not really going to break. Like, it's not designed to break, but that's the thing, you know? The people who are always like, oh, stuff these days doesn't last as long. Yeah, but it also, like, does. I don't know. People get mad at, like, fridges and stuff. Like, fridges these days aren't built the same. I have to buy a new one every 10 years. I'm like, yeah, and, like, back in the day, you were, you know, using way more electricity to, to actually, like, use it. <laughs> and uh, the materials were significantly, like... Like it was just, it was just it was just like a worse thing all around. Like yeah, they might have lasted longer, but in the grand scheme of things, you're probably spending less money replacing your fridge than you were with the old one, just with like the electricity bill. You know, they get a lot more efficient, a lot more useful, and uh, you're saving on the electricity, which is meaningful. Um, and yeah, I'm sure they cut corners on some places, but like let's be real here. Your fridge isn't breaking every, like, five years anyway, unless you're really hammering it. Like, if you treat your stuff well, it's not going to break. You know? Like, it's kind of the way it goes. Come on, dude. Why can't I shoot the, the stalker? Yeah, I used to work in a lot of retail jobs. They're all just scams. It's just bad. I feel bad working in it, because I'm not a bad person, you know? And if you're working on a retail job and you don't think you're a bad person, it's okay. As long as long as you feel bad about what you're doing, I can still respect you. But like honestly, if you if you're like selling people warranties on SD cards and you don't feel bad, you know I'm I'm not, I'm not saying I hate you, but you know I I might not necessarily you know strive to to, 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 to to build some kind of a close you know, friendship with with you necessarily I would say perhaps so it's just a scam dude I don't know there's a lot of people out there who are just uneducated on the stuff as well and they're like indoctrinated into it working in retail and they don't know what they're selling even they're just like yeah no the people really need this and they're like oh yeah they need it you know like this is they're, they're, they're they think they're genuinely helping people um, and you know, there's, there's probably a lot of retail places out there in the world, which are like, run by people who actually aren't just, you know, terrible people, which would be like great places to work, but, um, for, for me, it's just, uh, all the places I've worked have just been terrible, terrible, terrible places, riddled with, uh, with sexism, racism, just like, you know, 
capitalist garbage. I'm, I'm like, you know, when it comes to, to capitalism, I'm not necessarily anti-capitalism. I know there's a lot of people out there who are like, yeah, get rid of capitalism. We don't need capitalism. We need uh, socialism and whatever. And I don't want to get into to politics too much, but I, I definitely lean on the side of like... Having having uh, having some way to be like, hey, I have ten dollars. Can I buy your thing? That's 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 a pretty convenient way to handle things, I would say. But uh, I definitely I definitely uh, I'm not necessarily pro. You know, screw the customer. <laughs> I like I like uh, having the opportunity to like buy things. You know, trade money for goods and services. But uh, I don't like it when they uh, make up fake services. That's not fun. We're trying to sell stuff or like lie to like sell stuff, misleading and all that kind of crap. That's not, I'm not into that. But that's what, uh, that's what, that's what makes up a lot of the world, honestly. Is a lot of that uh, misleading, lying kind of stuff. And it's again, it's not always people who like know that they're even lying. So I guess at that point, you know, is it considered a lie? I don't know. I wouldn't think. I wouldn't think so. I think they're being honest. They just don't know better. Because there are a lot of people who know nothing about technology, who get a job at like some kind of tech retailer, and uh, you know, all the training videos and stuff walk them through how to do their job. So all they know is like what they've been taught, and uh, you know, they think that, uh, oh. You know, they, they think that, that what they're being taught is, is right and good and stuff. Because it's like, they need this because it's going to be good for them. And they're like, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Because it's, it's the same stuff that's trying to fool people like them, right? So they get fooled by it. And then they're off selling it to other people, fooling more people. And it just uh, it ends up being this huge rotation. Look, the, 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 the reality is if you're trying to buy like uh, some kind of tech, if you're trying to buy a phone or a computer or whatever, you know, you're going to have a budget. And uh, you should you should be responsible about that budget. But honestly, like my recommendation is like almost never gonna be the same as if you go to Best Buy or something. Like my recommendation too is to buy something that has like a good starting base, you know, and then save up for for like some upgrades and stuff, you know, and uh, you know, save up and 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 buy your peripherals and, and all that kind of stuff. I wouldn't say go out and buy a computer and also get all your peripherals at the same time. Like you probably have a mouse and keyboard and monitor and HDMI cable and Ethernet cable. You could probably already got all that stuff lying around, right? Like you don't have to to buy it all with your computer. Even though it might be convenient, you know, it's not really necessary. You get a much better experience if you uh, uh oh. You're much better experience if you uh Kind of separate them a little bit there and, and, and go for, for higher quality stuff rather than, than lower quality stuff for a little bit of convenience. But you'll never, that, that'll never be what happens in the in, in a retail environment because uh, they, they want you to buy all those attachments. They don't care about what computer you get, they only care about you know the margins and all the cables and peripherals and stuff that you're buying. Those are, those are the things that matter. And uh, yeah, anyway, I've been ranting enough, I guess. Moral of the story, I guess, is uh, I just, I really hate retail jobs. Just, I can't, I don't know. Again, maybe I've only ever worked bad retail jobs. Maybe I should get out there and continue working retail jobs. I've worked a number of them, and they're just bad. They're just really bad. Do not like. Anytime you have to, like, upsell or, like, bridge stuff and try and, like, sell customer stuff, it's just no good. Because at that point, it, it stops becoming helping the customer, and it becomes, you know, get the most money. And it's just like, I don't... I really like helping people. <laughs> Anyways, good to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.